hi everyone welcome back to my channel and i just took a little break from youtube actually i'm at my mom's place that's the reason i wasn't able to film and uh, edit and uh, and wasn't able to upload the, any kind of video so uh, i'm still at my mom's place so somehow i managed to take out time and thought of filming so as you can see from the title today i I'm going to tell you my acne story. Basically, a lot of uh, you who guys follow me uh, on Instagram or on Facebook, they know that I ha recently had a lot of breakouts and a lot of bad acne on my skin. But you can see now, I am not wearing any foundation. I just have lipstick and concealer on, that's it. And the concealer is only on at the under eyes, not anywhere else. A lot of you has asked me to do a video on my acne recovery so here I'm doing it first of all I really want to tell you that I was a person who never had acne not even in my teenage when you are vulnerable to having acne problems so I didn't had acne then also I used to get one or two uh, pimples here and there but I never had like proper uh, acne which you usually get in your teenage in December I got married after uh, marriage we went to Mauritius and uh, I started to get a little bit um, teeny tiny uh, breakouts here and I thought it's just because of weather change or uh, the water change or the atmosphere change basically I really thought it will go back when I'll be back here in India so um, we came back and uh, my this condition of my skin was still the same so there was no any major change in my pimples so I waited for a few months like uh, for I waited for a month, then two months. I, I start changing my um, daily routine just to try out some products and then um, see whether they work for my acne or not. I tried to change my skincare regime, but there was no major difference in that. The condition of my skin was getting bad and bad day to day. So at last, um, in starting of April, my husband uh, asked me to see a doctor. So I agreed and we went to a dermatologist. I just asked what's the reason because I never had acne before. So she said that um, it's, it's the result of all the facials you got uh, before your marriage. And I was like, what, like, why? Because I'm a person, I never got facial, uh, professional facial done. Um, in my whole life and I'm not used to um, those kind of treatments so before my marriage I had few uh, facial treatments done like cleansing and my facial uh, not much though but hardly one or two treatments are done and till my marriage I was fine but after one week I got like those eruptions uh, which were really really bad then she started my course my acne treatment course it uh, and now my treatment is over and I'm really happy with that and I like I, I'm really happy with the results so you have seen uh, the results my before treatment picture and my after like now this picture today is like I just got over with my treatment few days before like hardly four five days before and you can see the result now like I'm wearing no foundation and I'm like super happy I'm I don't even have acne marks or any kind of other marks on my skin so that's really nice the treatment uh, was for three months and uh, she put me on a medication and I would like to share each and every detail uh, of my treatment and I hope it would be helpful for you guys too but I would definitely um, recommend to see a dermatologist before using any kind of creams or medicine which I, I had because every person's skin is different so you 
just have to take precautions because it's your skin. The name of the medication is Isotroin. It is also called Acetonine, I think, in Western world. And here in India, it's called Isotroin. And the MG uh, of this uh, medicine depends on the person's weight. So it, the doctor usually recommends the person dosage according to the person's weight. So I had this for like three months in a row. So she do not stop this medic medication anywhere in between. But uh, the skin products, the creams I was using, she kept on changing it. When I uh, visited her first, she just put me on the medications. And uh, I would like to tell you that this medication, like you have to be really, really careful that you're not pregnant, you're not lactating, and you're not even trying to get pregnant. Because um, if you're pregnant or if you are lactating this medicine can give abnormalities to the baby so you have to be really really careful before starting this kind of medications and of course uh, just have a word with your doctor before starting any kind of medication and with that medicine she gave me this kerasinil complete regulating cream so this is empty right now uh, and it says it promotes the disappearance of spots and blackhead reduces excess sebum so basically what this medicine does is like it dries out your skin you have to hydrate yourself by drinking water and lots of liquids because it's really drying and it irritates seriously it irritates with that medicine on and if you use this cream your skin starts to flake out like it's so damn dry and you also get kind of irritation with this cream like you feel it's itching and it's like burning sensation which is really really bad but she said it's very normal with this cream so what happens when i when i used to apply this cream it really used to dry me out it used to burn like anything but after 10 minutes you feel like okay kind of feeling with this cream but whenever you apply this cream it's, it really burns and it, it doesn't feel good like you feel like discontinuing the treatment seriously but my husband kept me motivated that uh, it's okay it happens like koi baat nahi, ho jayega. so when um, after this cream she uh, my eye used to get a lot of dryness like lot of and it used to irritate me I, uh, the, in the second visit, I asked my doctor to give me some kind of moisturizer because it was really drying and it was really irritating. So my skin used to flakes out like anything. So she um, uh, gave me this uh, moisturizer. It's an oil free moisturizer. Uh, it's fragrance free and it is basically uh, for skin dryness, especially during the treatments. Whenever I used to uh, apply that cream, I start to flake out and then I use this moisturizer just to calm my skin down. And after two hours, uh, my skin used to get dry again and it used to flake again. So again, I have to reapply this moisturizer. So those were the starting creams for my acne treatment. and. She gave me one face wash as well and if you have seen my morning um, skincare routine then I have shown this face wash there as well and it's which is normal derm a face gel and it deeply cleanses my skin and I used to uh, apply it twice so uh, with this cream kerosinil, I used to apply this Effacular Duo, uh, which is this one. I used to apply this Effacular Duo at night. It is basically anti-marks cream, which whatever marks I got from acne, it helps to reduce them and it's really nice. It's really, really nice. I love this stuff and when after a few days she um, replaced this cream with this cream that means i used to apply this in the morning kerosinil and she um, asked me to apply this thing in the morning a duo 
uh, and she added one more cream which was Bitchy's Norma Derm. It was really hydrating and my um, pimples they started to uh, fade out and uh, texture was starting to smooth out so th there was less bumpiness. I was on both of them for many days and after some time my effaculator got replaced by uh, my normadin that means this was the thing i was applying in the morning now and at night she gave me one more cream um, which is evine tri acne and even now i'm applying this at night and she specifically told me to apply this cream at night because it has retinol in it and in sunlight retinol gets destroyed so it was recommended at night only the sunscreen i was using which she recommended it was my june favorite as well and you must have seen in my morning skincare routine as well it's ducre photo screen and it is spf 50 my treatment is over i'm not having any kind of medica medicines right now but uh, what she asked me to still continue with is my face wash which is this Norma Derm and my skin is literally clear the another thing she asked me to uh, continue is this dry acne she asked me to continue this for four months and she said if there is a problem again um, just after four months just come and see me but if after four months if I'm fine with my skin uh, there's no need to come and also I can uh, stop these uh, creams as well after four months and she also told me to continue with uh, sunscreen which is the stew gray so I am right now I am on these three things face wash my tri acne that's my night cream and uh, my to create sunscreen so i hope it was a little helpful for you guys if you have acne please go and see your dermatologist and uh, just do a little research on your skin type uh, what is the reason behind it because acne can can have lots of reason it can be hormonal it can be um, allergic reaction or as in as in my case it was after, due to uh, facial treatment some facial treatment and I don't know if it was allergy or some other thing I have no idea but it was due to some kind of facial so uh, and also she asked me um, not to get any kind of treatment done like laser or peel or facials so she asked me to stay away from all this stuff she only asked me that I should do skincare at my home only and one more thing which she told me and which was very useful for me it is kind of anti beauty rules but it was really really helpful for me and um, she asked me not to pat dry my face normally we just pat dry our face so that we don't get any wrinkles or stuff she always asked me to rub my face with towel like literally rub my face to scrub my face uh, with towel and this is because because i was in treatment and uh, my skin was flaking out it was very dry and what actually that rubbing and scrubbing did was it was taking out all the dead skin um, from my face and the new skin used to be very radiant and very healthy so even on the last day of my visit to her she said that um, don't forget to rub your face and not pat she only said that because even if I'm not on treatment just rub your face not pat and I'm still doing that and to me it works for me uh, and you don't have to like tug like tug your face and like rub it very roughly i i just rub my face very gently and but i make sure that it scrubs my face really well so that the dead skin can come out so this is one thing that is anti beauty rules but it worked for me i know it's not recommended um, to rub your face in acne but she asked me to do and it worked for me so 
go to your doctor go to your dermatologist and ask what's good for you it worked for me it might not work for you i also wanted to show that uh, i have a condition called ple uh, it's called polymorphic light eruptions it's basically a skin condition in which you get like spots uh, some a rough surface on your limbs basically and it was really really bad she, and to cure that she gave me this clobestol cream it's called tinovate and it's also really helpful for me and if you're suffering from this kind of skin condition do get this it's really cheap and it's really good and it works that was my acne story i hope it was helpful for you guys uh, thank you for watching and please do subscribe bye bye